Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dr. Coder's Medical Coding Classes. So today I am doing a CPT video. I have already done two videos on CPT uh, about modifiers. Okay, but the modifiers are not complete. I will do the remaining portion for sure. So today I thought I will explain you about the introduction topic of CPT. Okay. I am doing videos mixedly because I am getting mixed response on uh, what to do next. Okay, I am receiving so many mails uh, that some are telling to put videos on ICD but some are telling to put videos on CPT uh, etc. So, I thought I will do it everything combined. So, CPT means current procedural terminology. Now, where we have to give the CPT codes, I will explain with an example. Okay, a patient is having severe stomach pain, comes to the physician. Okay, after diagnosis, the, patient, the physician concluded that the condition is appendicitis and the physician uh, ordered for an appendectomy. Okay, here what is the ICD code? We have already studied ICD code. For the condition is appendix appendicitis sorry right the icd code here will be for appendicitis the diagnosis right now what procedure is done to the patient the physician have done appendectomy so the procedure here is appendectomy okay the, so the cpt code will be for appendectomy okay what the, what is the procedure that the physician perform will be the cpt code Okay, here they have a given a definition. This is the code set used for procedures and services rendered by a physician or other qualified healthcare profession, uh, professional. Okay, so CPT code includes what are the procedures or services rendered done by the physician or other qualified healthcare professional. Okay, now the CPT codes are maintained by AMA. AMA means American Medical Association. The CPD codes are updated and maintained by AMA. What about ICD codes? ICD codes are maintained by WHO, World Health Organization. Okay. Next one. Each procedure or service is identified by five-digit code. Okay. When we take ICD, in ICD it was alphanumeric. Right. Minimum 3 character, maximum 7 characters and all we have studied in ICD. Right. In CPT, it is a 5 digit code. Okay. Now, I have given an example there. 44950, it is the code for appendectomy. Okay. So, in the previous case where the physician ordered for an appendectomy, the code will be 44950. Okay. A 5 digit code. Now, the CPT code sets are divided into three categories. Category 1, Category 2 and Category 3. Okay, first one is Category 1. Category 1 is numeric. That is, five digit numbers will be Category 1 codes. Okay, they have six subsection. This Category 1 is the, uh, our CPT book includes most of the codes are Category 1 codes. Okay. Now, this category 1 codes are again divided into subsection, which I will be discussing in next slide. Okay. Now, let's come to category 2. This category 1 codes are most commonly used codes. Okay. Now, next category 2. Category 2 codes are 5 character alphanumeric code. What is alphanumeric means alphabet and number. Okay. This category 2 code includes 4 numbers and the 5th character will be an alphabet. Which alphabet? It ends with letter F. Okay, category 2 codes, it ends with letter F. Okay, now category 2 code gives additional information about category 1 code. Okay, the next one is category 3 codes. They are temporary code. Okay, they are not permanent codes, they are just temporary code. And they are also alphanumeric code. That is, uh, the 4 numbers and the 5th character will be letter T. Okay, they are used for emerging technologies. So, I have already said that category 1 code are, is having 6 subsections. Okay, uh, let's look at that. The first one is evaluation and management or it is commonly called as E and M. Okay, so the code ranges are 992022 to 99499. 
topic is now what is evaluation and management i'll explain you in simple terms that when the when a patient comes to the doctor the initial procedures that the doctor performs like uh, the medical history chief complaint medical history physical examination the medical decision making these all comes under the evaluation and management chapter okay now the next one anesthesiology from this chapter onwards the code ranges uh, will be on the increasing order like zero series next will be one series then then two series three series like that okay now anesthesiology includes uh, the, those procedure where anesthesia is given okay for code for anesthesia okay double zero one zero zero two zero one triple nine okay that is the code range for anesthesia the next one is surgery surgery is the vast a topic both on the basis of its content as well as on the basis of cpc examination point of view okay the surgery is having many subsections surgery itself is having many subsections like surgery of uh, all different sections uh, like integumentary system digestive system cardiovascular musculoskeletal urinary female genital, genital male genital nervous system like that okay next one is radiology which means uh, the different radiological services uh, performed okay here the code range is 7 series 7001027999 okay next one is pathology and laboratory the different laboratory tests and services okay which includes the code from 80047289398 then the last one is medicine here the code is 90281 to 99199 and 99500 to 9607 okay next point is uh, when you look at the top of each page you can see the first and last code numbers of that page okay and also the subsection names of uh, that page okay for example here i have given one example one triple zero four two double one zero zero five okay uh, this can be seen in the top of a page and there you can see surgery integumentary system which means that page contain code from one triple zero four two double one zero zero five and these codes are from chapter surgery there the subsection integumentary system okay next one format of terminology which means how a cpt code is uh, to be read okay here i have given an example 25100 it is the code for arthrotomy comma wrist joint semicolon with biopsy which means when a patient is having arthrotomy of wrist joint which includes with biopsy then our code will be 25100 okay then below that you can see some space is given and then it is written as with the synovectomy. Right. What does it mean? How this code 25105 should be read? It is read as the, uh, the first portion. The first portion means 25100's portion up to the semicolon is the part of the 25105. Okay. Which means the code 25105 is read as arthrotomy wrist joint with synovectomy okay why it is given like this just to preserve space instead of typing this uh, writing this arthrotomy wrist joint with synovectomy uh, synovectomy again you just have to write this with synovectomy alone right next to some important terms i have already explained about modifiers if you haven't watched that video means you can see that also then the next topic is add-on codes okay this add-on code means they are additional code which comes along with the primary code okay this add-on code should never comes as the first code okay it should always come with an another code it is never reported as standalone codes okay this add-on codes are uh, indicated with a plus mark okay here i have given an example plus one one two zero one okay so how to apply this add-on code i will explain with this example itself the code 11200 means removal of skin tag multiple fibrocutaneous tags any area up to and including 15 lesion 
So the removal of skin tag up to 15 lesion means the code is 11200. Okay, now if in the question, the number of lesions is 25. How, how we can do? So we have to give this 11200 and then 11201. It is an additional Additional, no. So, this additional one is called the add-on, add-on codes. Okay. So, the code is 11200 and 11201. Okay. So, this add-on codes, uh, they can be identified by this, seeing this plus sign. Okay. This add-on code should never be given as the first codes. So, these are the basic idea that you have to understand before starting moving on to the CPT chapters. Uh, now, from next video, I will do uh, CPT chapters. Uh, since the CPT chapters and guidelines are not as specific as ICD, I can't do the whole topic. So, I will be doing uh, three or two or three videos from each chapter. Okay, the most important topics I will be doing as short videos. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, you understand it. So, um, thank you. Keep supporting.